गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग एक्सप्रेसो बाय द इंडियन एक्सप्रेस माय नेम इज राहिल फिलिपोस एंड हियर इज टुडेज बिग स्टोरी पंजाब कांग्रेस चीफ नवजोत सिंह सिद्धू हैज रिजाइंड हर्ट लीविंग द पार्टी ऑन अ स्टिकी विकेट वंस अगेन अ हेड ऑफ द असेंबली पोल्स क्रिकेट एनालॉजीज असाइड देयर आर अ स्ट्रिंग ऑफ फैक्टर्स दैट हैव कंट्रीब्यूटेड टू सिद्धूज रेजिग्नेशन chief among them being sidhu not allowed to have his way in appointments to senior administrative posts the selection of ministers and the allocation of portfolios meanwhile the forecast on monday was not all doom and gloom as the party can now count former jnu student leader kanhaiya kumar amongst its ranks and gujarat independent mla jignesh mewani extending his full support and here are our stories exclusive to the indian express Two state-owned entities are at odds with one another over the implementation of BharatNet, the central government's flagship program to provide internet connectivity to all 2.5 lakh gram panchayats in the country. Citing delays and inefficiency in the implementation of the project, an entity that comes under the IT ministry has written to the Prime Minister's office proposing to buy a controlling stake in Bharat Broadband Network Limited. A year after the government unveiled the new national education policy, Education Secretary Amit Khare discusses what is changing, the focus on learning rather than teaching, and the road to holistic implementation of the policy. Here are our top stories from the front page. A 19-year-old Pakistani militant was caught and his accomplice was killed uh, in Uri sector on Sunday, eight days after they snuck in by cutting the fence along the line of control. Major General Varinder Watt said the infiltration was not possible without Pakistan's help. According to officials, there have been three infiltration attempts over the last week, and at least four infiltrators, including three porters, have been killed so far. A late night raid by Uttar Pradesh police in Gorakhpur in search of three youths has resulted in the death of a 38-year-old property dealer. Countering the police version that he died after a fall in the hotel room he was staying in, the victim's wife alleged that policemen misbehaved with her husband and when he objected to their behavior, he was assaulted, resulting in serious injuries and eventually his death. Here are today's must read stories. It appears it's the end of the road for government aided private education institutions in Andhra Pradesh. More than 90% of aided degree colleges have been taken over by the state and will now run as government institutions. These institutions were given three options: voluntarily withdraw from grant and aid benefits, to hand over their assets to the government, or to run the institutions as private bodies. Amid calls for a caste census come findings that 44.4% of 17.24 crore rural households in the country are from other backward classes. OBC households are in a majority in rural areas across seven states including Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Karnataka and Chhattisgarh which together send 235 Lok Sabha members to parliament. Over the last 4 years Jharkhand based startup Kisan Pro has been working tirelessly to set up a support system for farmers in the state. Currently operating from 12 districts it reaches out and connects with more than 10000 farmers providing them with advisories input supplies such as fertilizers and seeds and market linkages to their produce Kisan Pro co-founder Pankaj Roy makes it clear that while it is a for-profit business it does not function at the cost of exploiting farmers and finally Bouncing back 3 years after a devastating car accident, 19-year-old sprinter Taranjit Kaur won the 100-meter title on Tuesday with 11.54 seconds on the clock at the ongoing U23 Nationals. Taranjit's sensational post-accident comeback is due in no small amount to Indian wrestler Sushil Kumar, who gave her a pep talk when she returned to the tracks after 6 months of rehab and found that her performance had taken a beating. That's the news wrap. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest news updates.